Hi you four. So uh, we're about to start some lessons for the ukulele, but I thought I'd give you a few tips first. So uh, first of all, how you hold your ukulele. So you should hold your ukulele so that your left hand is up this end and your right hand is down near the sound hole here. Okay. You should also know that these fingers are numbered one, two, three, four for your pinky. Your thumb actually sits on the back of the fingerboard like this so that you are comfortable to play and your fingers always hang over the front here. They don't go down like this and you have to pull them out at the last minute. They just hover. They hover when you're not using them. They just hover over the fingerboard here in this sort of area. Okay. Generally, uh, an idea that you should have is that your first finger will always play um, strings in the first fret your second finger in the second fret, third finger in the third fret, and fourth finger in the fourth fret. Um, so mostly try and stick to that. And you might find that you want to go from here for C with just this pointer finger, but don't do it. It's a bad habit because what will happen is when you're changing from C to something like F, that finger is there for C and your finger can be there for F very quickly rather than having to go like this and then readjust your fingers to find F. It takes a lot of time. So it's worth spending the time in the start to get good habits so that you can quickly move from one chord to another. Okay, your right hand, um, it will lean on the top of the ukulele here um, and it will you'll use the back of your um, pointer finger to strum downwards and the fleshy front part to strum back up. Like that. So that's a good way to strum. Now, I wouldn't do that very hard, just do it soft. Um, and for a while, your finger might feel quite tender. Same with this hand. These fingers will actually feel very tender for a long time. Or not for a long time, for a few weeks maybe. Um, that The more you play, the better they'll get. They'll get little hard calluses on there. Um, so uh, you need to press hard. If you don't press hard on this end, this is what you get. That sort of sound. Okay, so you have to press hard to get the clear sound that you'll have, okay? Keep this wrist really flexible and flick your hand like you're flicking water off your finger, off your pointer finger, like that. So just practice doing that. Start with just down strums, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then sometimes when you feel comfortable doing that, do coming back up the other way as well. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Okay, so that's how to get started on your ukulele. Let's start with two chords. The first chord is right on the bottom string in the first fret. These spaces here are called frets. So bottom string, first fret, that is called C7. And the next chord we're going to learn goes up one string from the same fret, so second string up, and then go to the top string in the second fret, these two here. Okay, that's an F chord. Okay, so let's try doing um, eight of each chord starting on F. You ready? Here we go. Two, three, Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get ready to swap now. And C7. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back. F chord. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And C7 chord. Okay, so uh, in the start, if you can just practice going from one chord to another, that's a great way to get going and you will get quicker at changing. If you don't change in time with me, it takes you a little bit of time to get to the chord. That's all right. Just keep strumming and keep in time. Keep the counting going for eight and then change when you can. So, for example, you might go like this. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and so on. See how it took me a couple of beats to find the spot I needed to be in? If you need to do that for a few times, that's okay. And just gradually try and get quicker at changing from one chord to the other. Okay, rewind this little bit if you need to practice that a few times before we keep going. 